Tonight, the air is electric with excitement. An eager audience is packing the theater, anxiously awaiting the return to the footlights of Carlton Bain, the great actor, after ten years' retirement. The play is Richard III, but the audience will see much more than Shakespeare tonight. So join me now on the edge of your chair for the curtain call. Lights out. Exactly. <laughs> and they said he'd never act again. Oh. I thought you knew all about that. He's the greatest living American actor. Mm. They always say after ten years, he's better than ever. Really? Mm -hmm. I never saw him. Oh. Who was it? His wife? No. She was an actress, too. Oh? She killed herself. It was all over the papers. Give me a little Mind up your wounds. Oh, have mercy. Jesus. Oh, I did my dream. Oh, cruel conscience, how dost thou fix me? The lights burn blue. It is now dead midnight. Oh. Cold, fearful drops stand on my trembling flesh. <laughs> what? Do I fear myself? There's none else by. No one but me, Carlton. No one but Alexis. Richard loves Richard. That is, I am I. Is there a murderer here? Yes, Carlton. There's a murderer here. No! Yes. I am. But then fly. What? From myself? Great reason why, lest I revenge. What? Myself upon myself? Yes, Carl. Revenge. My revenge, Carlton. Revenge for Alexis. I love myself. Yes, you've always loved yourself. But there's been murder done. Remember? Your wife's murder, Carlton. My murder. Alexis, you're dead! <laughs> you're, you're dead, dead, dead! <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Garson. Thank heaven you've come, sir. Hello, Williams. Where is he? He's in the study, sir, waiting for you. I know. How is he? Well, I think you'd best judge for yourself, sir. Could you go in, please? Wait a minute. Has there been anyone here before me? The press? Any photographer? No one, sir. Miss Lydia left orders at the desk for you, sir. Would you go in, please? Carlton? Carlton, where are you? I'm here, Peter. Strange. I was standing on the balcony just now. It seemed but a step to the pavement. Yet it's 18 stories from the street. Carlton, what is it? What? Oh. Oh, thank you, Peter. I knew you'd come. Oh, I came as soon as I could. The usual details in a case like this. Reporters, police, refunds, that opening night crowd. Now tell me, Carmen, uh, what happened tonight? I want to know. 
Make yourself a drink. You tell me, huh? <laughs> Well, what infamous fabrication did you manufacture for the Perez, huh? I told them you were ill, of course. A slight heart condition. My cause is heart, and thine has no less reason. Opening night excitement, nerves, tension. Your long-delayed return to the stage. Well, don't worry about it, Carlton. All make for a satisfactory press. Yes, and the filthy press pots must be fed, eh, Peter? <laughs> I can see the headlines now. Faded star fails in comeback due to drunkenness and loss of memory and other natural causes. <laughs> then, after a week or two of complete rest, we reopen. Stop it! I have had ten years of rest. We play tomorrow night. What is it, Carlton? What happened tonight? I'm sorry, Peter. Twenty years we've been together. Twenty sad and glorious years of theater and triumph. Of tears and heartbreak. And madness, too. I couldn't have made it alone. We've met disaster before, Carlton. Much worse than this. Now, what happened tonight? I've got to tell you, Peter. I've had it locked up too long. You've been my friend, Peter. You love me, not. You won't hate me, will you? I've, I've got to tell you. About tonight, yes. Yes. It's Alexis. I saw Alexis. Alexis? But Carlton... I don't know. Sounds mad, doesn't it? <laughs> Carlton Dane, the last of the Mad Danes. Not the melancholy Danes, Peter. The Mad Danes. <laughs> Malcolm Dane, my father. He drowned himself in a torrent of drunkenness and debauchery. Christine Dane, my mother. She was driven to insanity and death. Trying to assemble the fragments of a distorted mind and heart. Alexis, my wife, the jewel of her generation, the loveliest, the most hauntingly beautiful, the most untalented actress on the American stage. Alexis was a suicide. No, Carlton. It was murder done. Remember? Murder, Carlton. Uh, my murder. Help me, help me. Murder, Carlton. Sit down, Carlton. you're very ill. No, 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 I'm all right. It's Alexis. Alexis said I was a murderer. You've been my friend, Carlton. Say, say I'm not a murderer. Carlton, no, of course you're not. We know not. Carlton, are you all right? Oh, of course, with you, my child. Quite all right. You said you wanted to be alone until Peter came. Mm. Thank you, Peter, darling, for coming. What would we do without you? Well, you'll have to do without me tomorrow night. Carlton insists that he's well enough to go on. Carlton, do you think you ought? <laughs> do you think I ought? Listen to her, Peter. Our first appearance in New York together. Carlton and Lydia Dane. For the first time in Measure for Measure. Why, they lead it up, my dear. You'll be magnificent. Peter, I give you Miss Lydia Dane in the immortal Isabella. Miss Lydia Dane. There'll be a star born tomorrow night, Carlton. A beautiful girl. A fresh and brilliant talent. You know, the public rather fancies itself a star maker. And for you, Lydia, the sudden rush to fame.
has been a wonderful party, Carlton. Music, laughter, the coronation of Lydia Dane. And as usual, I'm the last to leave. You were wonderful tonight, my dear. Now, if you can forego your wine long enough to say a fond good night to Peter. Hmm? Peter, I thank you for everything. And I knight you, my Prince Charles. Good night, dear. Good night, Carlton. As you are. No, no, don't bother. I know what I'm You should be very proud, Carlton. Tonight, another Dane reached the heights and see that she gets a good night's rest. You too. Good night, Carlton. Good night. Good night, William. Good night, sir. Lydia Dane, spawn of the greatest actor of his generation, a morsel of her mother's beauty but touched with the Dane genius. Oh, I love the world tonight, Carlton. I love the world and people and theaters and audiences. I love audiences, yes. I shaped your infant talents, my dear. I watched over you. I developed your adolescent talents. Carlton, uh. I... You wish to say something, my dear? Yeah, I was just out to call it a night. Suddenly, I'm very tired. Tired? You? Oh, nonsense. No, 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 no. You'll have some more wine. We have many things to talk over, my dear. You became a star tonight, you know? A night long to remember. The fledgling tried her wings tonight. You heard it, my dear. It was wonderful, wasn't it? <laughs> Carlton, I'm dreadfully tired. Oh, they've all had their little say, haven't they? Huh? But we know, we know, don't we, Lydia? Oh, I've heard it a thousand times. Carlton, you were wonderful. Ding, you were magnificent. <laughs> and tonight, tonight you heard it. Yes, my dear Lydia, you were divinely superb. <laughs> you think you were superbly divine, my dear? Hmm? Carlton, you are drunk and tired. But since the curtain's down and we've dropped the pretense of the adoring and loving father-daughter act... Yes, daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight was mine. You can never take it away from me. No. You're right, you know. I was on my own tonight. I was free tonight, free for the first time. Yes, it was all your bag of tricks, but I earned them. Ah. Oh, how I earned them. They're mine now, Carlton. What did Madame Bernhardt think of me tonight? Was I superbly divine? Hmm? You were perfect, of course. You always are. No, don't be, don't be rude, Lydia. I was perfect, eh? Oh, now, please, sit down, sit down. See, you're tired. Very tired, don't you remember? Sit down! Oh, that's better, don't you think? What do you want, Carl? What? What? What's your matter? Why should I want something? Oh, did I tell you that I liked you? Yes, I liked you very much. I thought... I thought you performed very nicely. Very nicely. Adequate but nice. Now you've said it. Hmm? Are you happy, Carlton? Is that what you want? You reminded me of Alexis tonight. Poor oh, dear Alexis. She couldn't act. And is this the same delirious joy you got when you mocked her? Your mother was a fake. But she was beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes, they loved her beauty. And you hated her for that, didn't you? Just as you hate me. As you hated anyone you thought you loved. 
Well, I loved her. Yes, yes, you loved her, but you never knew her. She was stupid and and she was beautiful, that's all. I love my mother. Why? She was cold and hollow and empty. She was beauty without fire. She was kind, generous, and good. <laughs> You're right, you know. She was without fire. Your kind of evil fire. She was no genius. But she had warmth and goodness and beauty. I knew. I had greatness and evil, eh? Huh? The good die young, my dear. You know, you, Alexis didn't love me. I loved her. But, oh, I worshipped her. But Alexis didn't love me, so she had to die. Had to die? Yes, just as you have to die, my dear. Mind you, suicide can be quite accidental. Of course, I was in the car, too, you know. Yes, I know. Yes, but you didn't know that I was driving the car, did you? No, no, I didn't. No, no one knew. Everyone thought it was Alexis. But it wasn't. It was me. It was I. <laughs> I knew the car would go off the road. Alexis didn't love me. I lived. But Alexis had to die. No, it's not true. It's not true. Quite true. Quite true, my no. dear. Stop it. You heard their cheers tonight. They loved you, Lydia. They loved you. They loved you too much, my daughter. I'm the one they really loved. Carlton Dane. I'm the one. Everything you did tonight and everything you are is a child of my greatness. Oh. Oh. You are absolutely mad. I was magnificent tonight. They love me. You silly Carlton, you, they love me. Then you'd kill me for that, wouldn't you? Just as you killed Alexis. They loved her too much, didn't they? I loved Alexis. But the crowd loved her too, too much. And so she had to die. You love with the hate, Carlton. No, no. Yes, Carlton, yes. An evil, rotten, and madness that kills. Yes, I heard their cheers tonight. They cheered for me, Carlton, for me. Not for you, not for you, but me, Lydia. I'm the, Lydia. One, I'm the one they really love. You killed my mother. Just as you kill me. No, Carlton, no. In six weeks, Carlton. You've done nothing but sit here and talk of reopening. As in you, Peter. What does my friend, my manager, my participator in the profits suggest? Forget the theater. For well, this season, yes. Don't you see, Carlton, it's just not in the cards. First, your opening night collapse, then Lydia's. Stop it! Lydia Dane is dead. Carlton Dane in the theater of alive and living. Oh, Peter. Must I sit here night after night alone, waiting? Am I? 
Am I to die? Come and listen to me. Peter, you love me? You are still my friend? Yes, of course. Then you must understand what I said to you that day. Alexis said I was a murderer. Lydia you believe, sir? Now, now Lydia's with her. Colin, you've got to stop torturing yourself. They'll torture me. They'll come back for me. Carlton. Carlton. I'm all right now, Peter. You must go. Good night, Peter. Whatever you say, Carlton. Uh, Don't bother, I'll let myself out. Oh, uh, about the theater, we'll uh, reopen in two weeks. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Mm. We'll have to find a replacement. There'll uh, be no replacement. But Lydia... No, there'll be no replacement. <laughs> Good night, Peter. Good night, Carl. Yeah. And Peter, would you mind telling Williams he may go to bed? Thank you. Good night. I sent him away. What is it? Why did you come back? I've seen Alexis Carlton. Where are you? Lydia, I can't see you. I can't see you. I'm here, Carl. Right here. Oh. Just another step. Another and Alexis is here too. And your audience, Carl. Can't you hear them? Don't you love us, Carl? Oh, yes. Give me your hand, Lydia. Help me. Just one more step. Well, Carlton Dane has taken his final curtain call before an uninvited audience of two which followed him to the ends of the earth. And 